peeps and welcome back for another video thank you so much for joining me today i'm so happy to be here with you giving uh you a creator week video which is just uh something i haven't done in a long time that i used to do weekly so it's really fun to be back with one of those for you so we're kicking it off in my junk journal i'm just giving you a little flip through of kind of the pages i've completed recently uh, as you know i work kind of back and forth uh in this journal and i started it i believe in may like the end of may and i'm still working on documenting august so grab yourself a beverage this is going to be a very chatty video per usual and i'm actually having a beverage myself which i'm going to share with you a little later on in this video in a couple minutes so stay tuned about for all the details on that but i i'm just going through my journal and trying to fill in spots i'm really trying to kind of transition out of this junk journal and into a new one that I've made for myself for the spooky season, uh, which is, <laughs> in my opinion, Halloween starts at the beginning of September uh, and runs all the way through up until Christmas. So let me know, like fall and Halloween, where do you stand <laughs> in the comments below? I'd love to know. Is I already have my Halloween decorations up. I decorated literally like September 2nd or something like that. So that's the kind of person I am. Let me know what, uh, where you stand on that camp. It's so interesting to see everyone else's kind of opinion. So one of the things I really like doing in my journal that this way of working allows me to do is I'll put in things like that rewind journaling card. And I literally had no idea what I was going to write on it when I put it in there a couple months ago. And now it, it was like a perfect prompt for something that I wanted to write about that had to do with this summer. And it just, sometimes things like that just fall into place or I'll put in some photos about something that happened. And then, you know, a month later, I feel a little bit differently about that event than maybe I did originally. So I'll write like a little in hindsight journaling thing on it. And that's really fun. So I encourage you, maybe if you're somebody who feels bad about not documenting things like the moment they happen to just kind of go with the flow and journal whatever comes up at that moment when you're journaling the thing, Not maybe not necessarily documenting the specific event, but just something about it. And you might find you enjoy the process a little more. So here uh, I'm com again working on completing pages. So again, this was when I started uh, early, a couple months ago, probably of one, me trying White Claws for the first time, which was just so delicious. I'm obsessed with beverages, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and I have started playing uh, Ghost Recon uh, so that I like practicing so I can play with Chris because I've never played video games in my life. It's just not something I've done. So I took this page to kind of take some time to document that and how that's part of my life now, which I never even imagined would be a thing for me. So it's time to share with you what I'm drinking. I'm super excited to have this here in the video. So this is, I think it's Javi. <laughs> <laughs> JV. Uh, it's a coffee concentrate. So kind of like instant coffee, but in my opinion, way better. I have my cup of coffee in the morning. It's like a must have. The first thing I think of when I wake up after I drink my glass of water is I need coffee, you know? So I'll have my first cup of coffee from the French press, but a lot of the times I need a second cup. And <laughs> I don't want to go through the whole thing of like doing the French press sometimes in a, in a rush or I just don't want to like take the time to do that. So this is super easy. You just add the, it's like a teaspoon or two teaspoons to some water. You can make it hot coffee or you can make it cold coffee and it's done. Like in the time that you boil the water, you have a cup of coffee. Now I drink my coffee black. So is this like the best tasting black coffee on the planet? Uh, in all actuality, my opinion is no, but the convenience of it for me outweighs the lack of 
taste. And if you're making a nice coffee, you literally can't even, it doesn't even matter because you're putting like creamer and all that other stuff in it. So if you're interested and want to check this out, I'll leave it in the description box below for you guys. But I just wanted to share that with you and uh, thank Javi for sending that to me. It was really fun to get to try out um, a drink because... I just, it's one of, one of my passions along with journaling. So here we are, enough about coffee, back to journaling. Uh, oh, again, one quick poll, hot coffee or iced coffee down in the comments below. Let me know. Um, I'll drink both, but 90% of the time I go for hot. All right. So I'm just continuing on doing that page. Like we talked about, I put down the date on it. I put down the date for the photo that I took, but the journaling is kind of like, again, I said general, and I really like using this. I'm using what a chalk paint pen uh, by, I think it's Chocola. Uh, you can find those in my, a lot of the things I use, especially like if I use them over and over again in my videos, they're linked in my Amazon favorites, which are in the description box below. Um, I'm always happy to get you a direct link if you want to know in the comments, but if you're ever curious, there's that for you. And yeah, I'm just super happy with how this whole page pulled together. I don't usually do this like weird blocky lettering, which was super fun. And um, since it's Ghost Recon, we call it Spoops, uh, which is like an inside joke, but the game's called Ghost Recon. So in the two O's, I put um, two little eyes, which I thought was really fun. So again, going in with paint pens, these are Arteza paint pens. I, I'm obsessed with paint pens. I just can't get enough of them. I have multiple brands and I love them all for different reasons. Um, maybe I'll have to do like a paint pen comparison video, like get a few more brands and do like a mega video. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And if it is, pop down below what paint pen you would like to see in that video. Lots of things in the comments. If you post even one, I'm just super happy. I always love chatting with you in the comments. So if you leave me a comment, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and I do get to all of them. So moving on, I'm really glad that I was able to document this particular journaling session for you guys because I pulled a lot of pages together in this session and usually, oh, sorry, bumped my desk there. Usually when I'm recording for you guys, I'm starting pages uh, and you don't really get to see me putting all the like little finishing touches on things. So this is really fun. One of the things I like to do is, uh, especially towards the end, is tie all the colors together. So you'll see I have that hot pink on the right as well as kind of on that left rainbow page peeking behind. I have similar like dark blue colors in the journaling card, the picture of my dog, and the picture with the video game in it. So I just try to sprinkle the same colors throughout and it really helps tie all of those layers together. And sometimes I'll do this, which I'm doing right now, is I didn't like how my journaling looked on there. It just wasn't standing out in the way I wanted. So I took a label sticker and I stuck it over the journaling I had already done and I just rewrote it. I mean, it was two sentences, so it's not a huge deal, but I also picked a label that corresponded with colors I was missing from the other page, so the yellow uh, from the right and pulled that in to again, make it more cohesive. I know sometimes that can be really hard when you're trying to pull a lot of messy journaling together. So I hope that tip kind of helps you there. Uh, and they don't have to be the exact same shades of the color. Like uh, you'll see like the grapefruit uh, label on the can doesn't necessarily match the strawberry sticker I had there, but it's good enough. So moving on again, using that same technique, this page, I really wanted it to be here. I love this photo. I liked all the like journaling and things I did for it, but the page just wasn't blending in with the rest of it and it made me not like it. So what I did was I took my paint pen and I covered up the journaling I had already done, sprinkled that blue throughout. So again, it matches the page behind it and the page to the left. And I just rewrote my journaling again not a huge deal <laughs> and it just makes it look so much better in my opinion. So I hope that was kind of helpful and gave you some 
fun little tips when pulling your pages together. This here is a clip that I have been waiting to put in a creative week video literally all year. This might have been from around Christmas last year. No, this was definitely from this year, but it was early this year because this is like the second page in my sketchbook for 2021. And this is an eyeball that I'm watery coloring. And you can get this eyeball in a vinyl sticker from my Etsy shop, which is linked in the box below. It's one of my favorite and uh, one of the most popular stickers over there. So if you haven't been able to get your hands on one yet, uh, go ahead and check that out. But I just, I love doing eyeballs. You guys know this if you're OGs. Uh, and I had originally several years ago given you guys a free printable with an eyeball on it. And so many of you still bring that printable up. So I wanted to redo an eyeball and put it in the shop. And that was something I did earlier this year. So I thought it'd be fun, even though this clip is like literally from forever ago, <laughs> to still share it with you because I mean, it's still creative painting, right? So moving right along, <laughs> you guys, if you're on Instagram, you already know this happened and you've been waiting to see this, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, here's the scoop. I took apart my master planner and I put it into a disc bound system. Uh, this is going to be some serious planner surgery. So if you're squeamish about cutting apart books, I would suggest skipping probably most of the rest of this video <laughs> because this is all about the rest of the videos about my planner. So if you didn't see the last planner video I did where I just showed you this book and how it was working for me, <laughs> I'll leave it linked in a card above. I feel like this always happens to me and I've said this before. As soon as I show you guys something, whether it be an organizing system, a planner that I'm using, an office tour, no matter what I show you, shortly after I show it to you, I change it. And it's not intentional, it just, it just happens. I don't know, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm using the same planner. I just took it apart and put it in the disc bound system. And the reason I did this cut was because it was driving me absolutely insane that it wasn't laying flat. And I felt like I could have utilized the pages, like all the project pages and stuff in the back a lot more if I could move them around and put them with what I was doing. So here I'm posting to uh, my Instagram, which is what you see there. I was giving you guys a little sneak peek. Um, it's in the description box below if you'd like to follow me there. I try to pop on once or twice a week uh, in between videos. But so I took it apart. What I did was I cut off the cover and I separated it from the rest of it. And the way this book is bound together, it's just glued. So as long as you keep cutting down the glue, excuse my hair, I just, I couldn't, <laughs> this was just part of the video. I tried to cut out as much of my head as I could, but just bear with me. Uh, so the way it's bound, as long as you keep cutting off this little glue strip here, you can kind of peel it off like one of those blocks of paper that you just tear off, you know what I mean? So that's what I did for the whole thing. Uh, pages that I had already done and all and so I took that whole thing apart and then you'll see I'm going to punch it uh, I sped this up quite a bit so that you guys didn't have to sit through <laughs> this boring part but I so I punched all the pages I'd already used put it in I punched uh, and put in pages for the remainder of the year so the rest of 2021 there's already pages like monthly and weekly pages in there. And then I put in all of my project notes. And so far, I'm already really obsessed with the way this planner is working. I, I love that, cause I have a lot of, okay. September for me has been, and still is absolutely insane. Okay, 
it's just, it's crazy. Um, usually around this time, my business uh, for cleaning slows down. So I plan at the end of September, beginning of October, a two week, um, more like a week and a half off of like all the work. So in September, I have to do all of the work for the month uh, for that week and a half or two weeks in advance, which is totally fine, like all my creative work. Well, let me tell you, this month I got a bunch of unexpected cleaning work, which I'm not complaining about. It's an absolute like blessing, especially since we're trying to uh, save for a house. Uh, but we also have a bunch of family events that we have to attend because Chris's sister is getting married um, this Saturday the 18th. So my time <laughs> is insane. I have a lot of like places I have to be um, with or without Chris, extra like cleaning jobs, um, all of my Halloween releases and Halloween ideas and my big list of things I need to get done in advance. Basically, long story short, I needed all of that to be in the monthly pages in between like all of my actual like weekly planning and stuff like that and the disk system allows me to do that and it also allows me to leave it like open and flat on my desk which was something that I couldn't do with the book so this is what happened I did a poll on Instagram I don't think I saved it or else I would show you unfortunately but I had explained kind of what was going on I outlined the pros and cons of leaving it bound or putting it into this disc form and I asked uh, you guys over there what I should do <laughs> and I was so torn between the two I was like help 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 and it like disc planner won by like one person like you guys were as split as I was on doing it but um, I'm so glad that that one extra person voted for discs because it gave me that extra like push to do it. I'm like, okay, I gotta be brave and do it for you guys because that's what you voted for and I, I couldn't be happier. So yeah, this is, like I said, long rambly video. Hope you grabbed a beverage and you're working on your own journal because my goodness. I'm taking a sip, cheers. So again, this is just me. I punched it, I put it in here. Hopefully you're not sick of watching me do this by now. But anyway, so I did that. And then what I had done right before I decided that maybe I would do the disc is I uh, pulled some papers out. I had another edition of this planner and I ripped out a couple of the pages from the uh, 2018 version that I had used, uh, like blank ones that I hadn't used in the back. And I just for like two days tried it out. And I wanted to keep those in there, which made these like funky transition pages that were blank in between um, the like old pages I had already done and the new pages. So I decided to do like a cover artsy page. Uh, this isn't something I typically do in this type of planner. I don't like make a cover page, but because I didn't know what else to do with it. I did like a hello September and a goodbye August. You'll see the goodbye August after. Um, I have to tell you guys though, this page was a hot freaking mess, okay? Like, <laughs> I struggled really hard making this page. It went through at so many ugly stages and I, the way it came out, I do kind of like it, but I still don't think it's really like my style. It doesn't feel like me. I think it's also because of the colors that I chose for September. I chose uh, like a minty green and a purple color and those aren't usually colors I work with together on such like a large in your face scale. So that was pretty interesting. But I got to use a lot of my stickers which is like one of my goals to use tons of stickers because <laughs> I've done really good this year with not buying a ton of art supplies, which I'm very proud of, but the one exception to that is 
I still get my sticky club subscription every month <laughs> and very rarely do I only get one usually I get two or all three of them so but I love stickers and you gotta have something new and fresh coming in it just it keeps me inspired you know plus I make new stickers every month <laughs> that are in my Etsy shop so that also adds to that but you know I know I'm not alone in the sticker and stationary obsession so like I said just tried to I, I also worked with a lot of weird colors like that didn't match I feel on this page that I am obsessed with that mushroom picture which um, my creative and patreon peep Angie sent me so thank you Angie for those those are so cute I love using them it just turned out like weird on this page anyway so I'm using various stickers for my sticky club subscription the 2021 that I put on the page is from my shop um, and yeah of course I th this point I hit it and I was like this is the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life <laughs> so when I hit a point like that what I do is I just put stars everywhere which sometimes makes it look worse <laughs> but anyway that's what I did there and then in a few minutes or so I will move on to the August side which I love how it turned out so sing in a second All right, so moving on to the August side, that piece of paper in the middle is a uh, like monthly reflection and like quick goal setting sheet uh, that is from the uh, same lady who made this planner. So Alexis Mitch trench coat. Uh, she does like a monthly plan with me type thing where she does like a, she calls it her CEO power hour, but it's just like looking at your goals and planning new ones. So that, I put in the middle there and then moving on I so I have a bunch of summer like ephemeran stuff that I really want to use every year like I look at it and I'm like this is so stinking cute I want to use it but I never like find an opportunity to put it in my planner I mean in my journal <laughs> so I decided to use some of it for this like outro page so that little like palm tree die cut I've saved forever because I think it's so stinging cute and I finally used it along with that popsicle uh, it was a journaling card so I cut the kind of image out of it and put that on there the pineapple sticker in the back is from my shop uh, and then I just had some other like random ephemera pieces and stickers and I just made a really fun collage of a bunch of things <laughs> that I loved from my summer ephemera stash that I had come to the end of another year and still not used. So some of them now live here and I have to say I really really like how it all turned out. I just well it helps that you know I was using some of the things I've been hoarding forever but it's so fun to finally have it on a page. So I encourage you, if you have some supplies or ephemera that you're just, you love so, so much, but you just haven't found an excuse to use in your journal yet, uh, just put them all on a page together and make it a pretty, something pretty to look at, you know? 
whether you put it in your planner or your journal, it doesn't always have to be like a super in-depth, meaningful page. You can just put in something because, and it's, it's fine. It makes you happy. And that's the whole point of keeping the journal is it's supposed to make you happy. So, or help you in some way anyway. So again, <laughs> going back to the September page and working on it trying to do more things to pull it together and make myself like it a little more. I'm adding a black border around it, which definitely helped, especially when things get busy. Borders are definitely helpful because it pulls all of it in uh, into the, it like keeps it from running off the page. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it just, it helps pull it all together. So that's what I did there. Then going back to the August, I was trying to debate on what to write, so I just ended up writing Goodbye August again in paint pen. Uh, this is a Posca paint pen. I think I've used all three brands that I own in this video. Um, so if that doesn't tell you how much I love paint pens, then nothing will. So that's kind of how that turned out. And I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. So I'd like to say once again, if you'd like to see a paint pen comparison video, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what paint pen brand you would like to see featured in that comparison video. Um, like I said, I use several brands and I like them for different, different ones for different reasons. So I think that would be a super fun thing to do. And I hope that you share that sentiment. Using again uh, the black border technique to kind of tie it all together. And I think that that wraps up my goodbye August and summer and hello September pages in my planner. So I also made myself a planner cover, which doubles as a vision board. So if you missed that video, I will leave that linked. I believe that was the last video I posted. So you guys can check that out and follow along. It was for the Take 5 Art Challenge, which I chose the prompts for this month. So definitely check that out if you haven't already uh, and tag me in your creations on Instagram so I can share them. I love doing that. And I'm going to leave you now with the flip through of how my planner stood uh, when I was done filming this. And with all that being said, oh yes, hey, thank, thank you guys for watching. I almost forgot my outro. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They help make what I do over here on YouTube possible while I can still, you know, pay my bills and feed my puppy dog Shadow and all those fun things. So they are rock stars. You are rock stars for watching this video. I can't wait to read your comments below. And with all being said, I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.